Okay, right. So I'm gonna build up a bit of pressure here. Now. There's a vehicle behind us. We're going to a really steep hill junction. Yeah. Let's say, just imagine if you if you say you you're on your test. This is your last challenge. If you do this well, you passed. Let's see. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we've got another lesson with Taz, and um, yeah, last lesson was Taz's first lesson back since lockdown. And how did that go, Taz? Yeah, it went good. Yeah, you did quite well, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what we've decided today is that um, if this lesson goes okay, we're gonna keep this as your final lesson for now. Yeah, and then when we get because we're waiting for the test date from the DVSA, mm -hmm. and uh, they are sending the emails out now. So as soon as we get confirmation of your test date, then we'll get in another couple of lessons because I think that's all you need. Yeah. Like I said, it depends on um, how today's lesson goes. So this uh, could be like, well, it is going to be your uh, final lesson until we get a test date. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Then we'll probably do another couple of lessons, like another mock test, and just uh, run through anything else you want here. Yeah. Okay, Taz. So. Um, Last session it did go quite well, uh, but what did we agree that we were going to move on to? Uh, what well, you needed more practice on today? Hills and roundabouts. Yeah, those are the main two. So what was happening on um, the roundabouts? It was just my hesitation going on to the roundabout. Yeah. So roundabouts in general were good. Yeah, but a few times, the you missed a, a couple of gaps to go. Yeah. Okay. Like we talked about last lesson, you had the understanding, but just about doing it more. Actually yeah. doing it. Yeah. yeah. Like you said last lesson, was the more you do it, the more uh, you find it. Uh, that obviously you're getting used to it, yeah. So yeah, um, so with the roundabouts, we'll do some big roundabouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would you like me to help you out on that at all, or just take you there and see how you get on? Just take me there and see okay. how we go. So you're gonna take responsibility, yeah. Yeah. And um, the hills, again, last lesson you did the hills kind of okay, but when I asked you how you feel about it, and you said I don't feel that confident, we scaled it, yeah. And you yeah. said I was like, was it five or five six or out six, of ten? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but you can do it, but you said you weren't confident. Yeah. And then how are how, how we going to get more confident on those? Just keep doing them yeah. more well, often. Again, um, I'll try and take you on some uphill junctions again. And um, again, on the hills, do you need me to talk you through anything? Are you going to mm -hmm. give it a go? Just give it a go. Good. Yeah. So obviously you're at that stage where you're driving independently. You can just give, give everything a go. Yeah. And I'll mm -hmm. come in if I need to. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maneuvers. Uh, we should have time to go through a couple of maneuvers. We said we'll recap on a... Uh, on the manoeuvres as well. So, which manoeuvres do you think you need to work on? I think I'm okay on my parallel one because obviously I watch the videos and I know my reference points. Okay, videos, videos in the ultimate driving yeah. course, yeah? <laughs> obviously, I had to mention that. So, you've been recapping and watched some of the videos. Yeah. Obviously, last lesson you did say that you hadn't watched many, but now you're back into the driving. You, you, you've watched the ones for your manoeuvres as well, yeah? yeah? So, you remember your reference points and techniques? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, so, you said the parallel parking one. I'm okay with, but I feel like I need more practice on my bay parking. Okay, the forward or reverse? Both. Or bo both? Both, yeah. Fine. So, yeah, we'll try and get you uh, back up to scratch with your bay parking forward and uh, the reverse on you. Yeah, we'll see mm -hmm. how that goes, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'll take you to a car park, roundabout hills and the bay parking, yeah? Yeah. So we'll try and get that covered today. And like you said earlier, you don't want any help. You just want to try it out yourself and see how it goes. And obviously, if you make a mistake, then I'll come in, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Sorted then, Taz. So, um, yeah, obviously if I do need to use the pedals or steering, you'll know. Yeah, and I'll tell you why to use it, yeah? Yeah. So, whenever you're ready, move off, please. The end of the road to left, please. Some cars turning left like that might have the indicator on by mistake, yeah? Mm -hmm. How could you tell that car was going to turn in? It's position. Position and? The speed. Speed, good. When they start slowing down, yeah? Okay, then then, then it's okay to emerge out. If you could turn left here, please. Good. 
turn. Is that your phone? <laughs> Forgot to put it on silent today. Yeah. Turn left, please. Stop here, Taz. Stop. And carry on. Were you going to stop there or were you going to continue? I was going to slow down see what the car next to you was doing. That oncoming one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so he was going. There was a parked car there, but we had the big obstruction on our side. Yeah, the van wasn't moving and that car wasn't really slowing down. Yeah. And even there, like, we could have stopped even a bit sooner. Did you see the junction on our left as well? Yeah. yeah? The car was going to come out. That's it. So if you haven't stopped there, like you know when I stopped here, yeah, what could have been the risk there if you continued through, especially with the van moving and that? The van could have swung out, or that other car obviously wouldn't stop. Yeah, mm -hmm. could have scraped our car, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, roundabout coming up, we're going to be turning right to the third exit. I know we've done this roundabout loads of times, but it's it's a good one for, you know, practicing the judgement, because it's always busy. Which gear it has? Because you know when we approached that there, yeah? It was clear. Yeah, it was, uh, there was a gap there to go and we could have gone there. Let's go. That's it. You're on the roundabout, really good with the positioning and mirrors it's just and moving that over. Yeah, uh, and you know, with the when you're approaching a roundabout, try and to with the mindset like approach with the mindset that oh, I'm gonna get that gap to go. Okay. Yeah, just you getting gear one there. Yeah, just that, shows. that shows me that you just you, you just were already just planning on stopping. Yeah, okay. okay. Obviously, if it's not clear and you're not sure, you should stop. Yeah, but gear two and those observations, thinking okay, it's uh, it's safe to enter. And even when those two lorries, they were there, they just moved off into the roundabout, yeah? They okay. were really slow. They were really slow. We had a big enough car. I'm not sure, were you going to go there or were you going to wait? Um, I was going to wait. If you didn't say go, I would have waited. And try and assess the speed here. Because remember, you know what? You're good at moving off now. Once you use the gas and move off, we're going to be out of their way in about two to three seconds. Yeah, yeah and they're going to take longer than that to get to, get to us, yeah? Okay, at this round are coming up, if you could turn right, third exit. Well done. See this jeep, see how quickly that moved off, mm -hmm. yeah? Obviously the lorry's moved off a lot slower than that, yeah. Can you see a gap? After this car, maybe. Yeah, so get your feet ready. Well done, good. Well done. with me just prompting you can you see a gap you think yeah maybe after that car can go and your feet were ready to go yeah and the car did turn up but you yeah we, we did it but even once you like thinking oh there could be a gap here if a car does turn up and it's too fast then, then just, hold yeah, back. just hold back but just be ready and prepared to go yeah okay, can't see a signal 
it's just one lane we don't really need it yeah you do need it if you're going to join on and if you just signal there yeah what could those lorries behind you thought that would be going by yeah they're changing into that lane good it could have caused them to slow down okay this roundabout we're continuing straight ahead so remember how we're going to approach this now yeah okay thinking okay is there a safe gap to go See, let's do it. Good. Roundabout does if you could turn left first exit, please. Straight ahead. Left first exit. I get confused now. The little ones. Yeah. So obviously, if you uh, if you look, we're not, yeah, we're, yeah, we're not looking at the signs anyway. Yeah, but I'll sort that out in a bit. Well done. Good approach and good decision making. See, you saw the vehicles there, but they weren't coming towards us, yeah. Okay, that was good judgement. At the roundabout, if you could turn right, second exit. So what's the view like here now? Restricted. So, yeah. Well done. How do you think that went? Yeah, that, that was good going into gear. Like you said, the view was restricted there, we couldn't see much, could we? Yeah, and we had to slow down. There was a vehicle before we joined onto the uh, roundabout before we entered onto it. So, you know those small lines, they're still exits. You know, yeah. you say I had to confuse you, yeah? yeah? Okay, but there, I wasn't asking you to follow signs. I, I just said to you, tear left yeah. first exit, yeah. So what confused you about those little ones you said? I get confused. Is it the parallel ones? It's not an exit, isn't it? Yeah, 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 That's yeah. So you know if you have if you have two lines that are parallel, yeah. Then it's not an exit. Yeah. Okay. The small one is not an exit. Turn right at the lights. Good job though you remembered that there is something like that, yeah. <laughs> okay. Gonna be okay with this crossroad, yeah. And remember, it's a hill as well. Yeah. Let's see. You control this. Okay. Clutch down. Restart the car. Okay, go on, don't rush off the clutch. A bit more gas, please. Okay, so what do you think we stalled there? Not enough gas. Oh, and kind of super yeah, clear. it came off the clutch really quick as well, yeah. Okay. And why was that a high risk place to stall? Because then the traffic would have been coming from the left. Yeah, the lights had just changed green, yeah. Okay. We just about, obviously, I came in there to come in there to help here because we couldn't wait there any longer really yeah good awareness with the lorry so you're gonna be okay with the uh, obviously we're gonna do a few more hills anyway yeah okay you need me to help you out or to tell you not to rush off the clutch or I think should I try again okay Let's cool we're gonna turn left second exit here so do we need the signal yeah. for the second exit If you had left your signal on, what would have people thought you were doing? Going left first exit. That's it. And what if there's somebody waiting to pull out at the second exit, what would they have done? They've gone. Yeah, they would have pulled out. Okay, Taz, if you could turn left please into this car park. Up away from the curb a little. Okay. 
continue straight down please just follow the bend look at the speed limit sign keep to the left keep to the left off the brake that's it carry on well done good observations continue straight on please straight down for you. And if you could just follow the bend round. Good. And if you could park forward into any bay on the right there please. A bit further down please. Which gear has which gear? Which gear? Okay. So we're parking into a bay on the right there, yeah. So what do you need to do? Which signal tells which signal? Okay, one sec, one sec. So, our positioning now, yeah? Okay. Can we go any more forward? No. Why not? Actually, yeah, we can. Do you remember uh, you had a reference point for this as well? I can go far forward. It was just above the little, you know, the pointy part on the window. Mirror. No, that was for when you turned in, not the point oh, yeah. for turning in. Yeah? You know, this point now. So there's a curb in front of us, isn't there? Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. oh, it's the same as my right turn. Yeah. The curb comes in. That's it, under your mirror, yeah. Okay. Was he under the mirror for you? It's just like on, like just on the bottom of the mirror. Yeah. So I could have gone more forward. Yeah. So go on. Let's get to that point and go more forward, please. Which of the clutch beat has? That's it. Good. Okay. So are we inside the bay now? Yeah. That's it. Brilliant. <laughs> I thought because I couldn't see that before we were too far out on the bar. Yeah. W why couldn't you see it though? Because it was too. Yeah. Could have gone forward a bit more. Yeah, we were too far. We were still hanging out, so you couldn't see the bay lines in the mirrors. Okay. Yeah, and now we're at the correct position. Okay, there. It's, it's good you matched it with your reference point for, you know, when you, you're at the end of the road. Yeah. Where the giveaway line be. It's the same as that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That was good. So we are going to reverse that. Before we reverse that though, let's talk about uh, a couple of things. When we came into. Um, when I should turn left here, yeah, we're on the dual carriageway and I too I should just steer away from the curb. the curb you're getting too close to the curb yeah and um, again hasn't didn't happen on the last lesson do you need any help with that? Um, no I think I'll be okay getting too close to the curb was that a risk what could happen? You could hit the curb because we were going like, quite fast as well yeah on a dual carriageway yeah it could really damage the the car yeah mm -hmm. okay and then when we turn left yeah and uh, I said, look at the new speed limit sign, yeah? You quickly rush for gear one, yeah? Uh, do we need gear one? No. No. But then the timing of, even if you did want to select it, yeah. Should do it after I'd gone around the bend. Yeah, because where did the car end up? On the other side. Yeah. Or if there's an oncoming car? Then it would have caused the obstruction. Yeah. Okay, so more important is to stay in your lane, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And try not to change the gear on the bend where you need control of the vehicle, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, here, when we start the manoeuvre, what's the first, what's, the, what's the, a normal driving routine we use for anything when we're Checking slow? Checking mirrors. Yeah, mirrors. Signal. Yeah, mirror signal, manoeuvre, yeah. Okay, so do we do, do we carry out that routine? No. Uh, and in a car park like this, do you, uh, how important do you think it is to use that routine? Very. Yeah. Because there's going to be people and cars. Yeah, there's another leaner car on our left as well, yeah. Okay, they're waiting to emerge out, so they need to know what we're doing, yeah. Okay, but you were still, you were so focused on, oh, I don't need, need my reference point. Remember, mirror signal, then maneuver. Okay. Even if you like, even if you were outside the bay a little bit, no big deal. Yeah, what, what could we do? Just reverse and readjust. Yeah, really just, yeah. Always observe though. Always make sure you're observing safety for sure. Okay, so, um, you okay with that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so like I said, you, the only reason why you thought you messed it up, because you couldn't see the... The bay lines, mm -hmm. yeah. And the reason why we couldn't see the bay lines was? Because they're too far back. back. Good. 
Okay. Right, so if you could uh, reverse out now. So the back of the car is facing that way and the front is that facing way. that way. Yeah. Yeah, so if you go forward then we can do the reverse bay park as well, yeah. So if you go forward just up to the arrow. That's fine. And if you try the reverse bay parking, yeah? Remember how to do this? Mm-hmm. Watch the videos, yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see. So I'll leave it to you, yeah? Okay. Where else should you be looking, Taz? Blind spot. Yeah, but so you're looking to the right, but you're not thoroughly checking your blind spot. See how a car's about to swing out, it is swinging out now, yeah? Mm -hmm. So imagine there's someone walking with the trolley. Okay. Yeah, you, like in that mirror you can see, but you can't see that area in your blind spot, yeah? Okay. Okay, so, and also where else should you be looking as well as the blind spot? Back mirror. Yeah, at the back window, yeah? Okay. We've, we haven't done many checks out there, have we, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, because our car's travelling in that direction, so that's where you should be looking, okay? So, add those checks in, please. Good, that's better. Stop there, Taz, stop there. Okay, so if you have a look at your uh, side mirrors now, Okay, are we inside the bay? Yeah. Yeah. So when, I have straightened up when, yeah. When should you have straightened up? As soon as we get in there. Yeah. Uh, like when both these lines look straight, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how I taught you to re remember, yeah? Yeah. Okay, normally I say when both looks the lines look parallel, just stop a second just to make sure. I look at this line now, does that look parallel now? Yeah. It does still. Not anymore, but yeah. it did. Yeah, it was. You just come back. You should have stopped maybe a couple of seconds sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah and then start to straighten up and then they obviously move again and straighten up yeah so it's a tiny bit late okay, okay? and then your cars instead of being straight it's a slight angle yeah. okay so what are you going to do now go forward a bit uh still straighten your wheel like you like you were about to yeah okay that's it so here look we are in, but our car's angled just because we didn't straighten up in yeah. time, yeah? Okay? But that your reference point and that for the manoeuvre was good. Mm -hmm. So I'll go and uh, create your positioning. Okay, where should your right foot be, Taz? My right foot? Yeah. On the gas? That's it. Stop there a second. So you are steering slightly to the right, yeah, which is good, but you need more more steering. Like, look at this line now, we're still slightly at angle, we're a bit better than before. Which way do you think you need to steer a bit? More to the right. Yeah, go on, do it for me, please. That's it. Slow it down. Look at the lines now. How do they look? A bit better. Yeah, so what should you do with your steering now? That's it. That's it. Stop there, Taz. How do you know how far back to go? Um, when what I normally use is the curb in it. Yeah. And I might, when it comes in the corner of this window. Yeah. Is it in the corner? Just, it's just before the corner. Yeah. That's what your point was. Just before the corner. Okay. Yeah. Not, not in the corner. Just before it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you can also use 
as he, if um, for anybody watching, if you've got sensors in your car as well, use them to your advantage. You're allowed to use them. Yeah. Okay. But if you buy a car without sensors, yeah, and this has got a reversing camera, so you can use that as well. Have a quick glance at it. Okay. Yeah. But the reason why we teach you all the other stuff is, if um, it doesn't. Yeah. You know when you pass and you buy a car and he hasn't got a camera or um, these sensors, so mm -hmm. you know how to judge it yourself as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So how do you think this maneuver went? Could have been better, just like my checks and then like straightening up and that. That's it, yeah. You want to try it again? Yeah. Yeah, so remember to add those checks in. Yeah, okay. It's like I said, we're doing a quiet park of the car park. Yeah, just imagine you were there. Roll those cars Roll off. Roll them cars. Yeah, do you think you could get away without doing these observations? Do you think it would be safe to do without these observations? No. Exactly, yeah. And the straightening up, try and stop. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's almost try and stop and assess. Then if you think, oh, it's good, start straightening up, yeah? If it's not, move back again, stop again. You don't have to do it in like one, one full one, go. Yeah, one full okay. go, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the starting position, up to that arrow again, and um, try it again. Well, let's see, that's better with the reference, um, with the biting point, yeah, mm -hmm. okay? How do you think you did here? It's too close to that side now. You did exactly the same thing. It was like, yeah, we we're a tiny bit close, but again, if you'd straightened up at the correct time, Taz, yeah, we would have been perfectly like um, in. Again, it's in, but the back tire is just touching the edge of the line, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. just because we didn't straighten up, yeah, so I think you need a bit of help with that straightening up point, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do it again, yeah, but this time I'll help you out with that straightening up point. That's the only thing that's, that's letting you down, okay, yeah, so I'll give you a point of, uh, well, how to judge when to straighten up, yeah. Okay, right. So let's go back to the starting position. Steer slightly to the right, Taz. Steer more to the right, please. Steer more. Okay, that's it. Because if you st like, you know how you moved and steered straight away, you're going to end up really close to these bay lines. Okay. Yeah, and you won't be able to see the bay lines to use as a reference point. Yeah. Okay. So you need to drive out about a meter and then start steering. Don't start steering straight away like you did at the bay. Yeah. Okay. So imagine there's a car park next to you. you yeah. It. That's it. Ready? Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll just help you out with the straightening up part. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I want you to just stop here a second, yeah? Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do is we look in those side mirrors, yeah? Can you see both of the lines? Yeah. Good. What does that mean? We're going into the bay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, you know, for straightening up, once you've 
assess that that you're going in, yeah. For straightening, what I want you to do is instead of that line, yeah, I want you to use this one. Just that one. Yeah, this one, yeah. You know your the you know the back of our car, yeah. Tell me when it's like level with that with that line. Use that little mirror for me. When yeah? it's parallel. Okay. Okay. Well, just before it gets parallel, actually, yeah. Not when it's parallel, but just before it's parallel. Like there. Stop there. Good. Yeah. This is the point that I want you to use. Yeah. Now when you move, start straightening up. Yeah. What you would do, you're trying to get 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 it parallel and then steer. Yeah. Yeah. And then by the time you straighten up, the car already moved up. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Will you remember that point for me now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Well, that, well, you remember that point now, yeah? Yeah. Good. I think that helps more. Yeah. Looking at that one point. That's it. You okay with that, or you want to try it again? Um, I think I'll be okay, but I don't want to try it again. Totally, totally up to you. I think I'll be okay. That's fine. Remember that for next time, though. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Just jot it down, whatever. But just remember to use that point. You know, after you've um, assessed that you're heading in. Mm -hmm. Then just use that point just before it's parallel yeah, yeah. to straighten up yeah okay. that'll work for us didn't it yeah okay cool so that's a quick recap on the forward and reverse bay park yeah mm -hmm. you remember your your reference points are brilliant you still obviously remember them from a while cool. ago yeah just observations remember and using what routine when you start the maneuver especially the forward bay park Mirror signal maneuver. that's it right we've got enough time to do some more roundabouts and hills like we stole on that Uphill junction, yeah. Know, yeah. Okay. So um, let's see if we can do do um, similar s a situation like that without stalling, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Move off when you're ready, please. As soon as you move off, if you could turn right. It's here. Yeah. So okay. turn left and turn right, please. Well done. Turn left, please. So look at this road. How does it look to you? Narrow. So yeah. I'd go out a bit and then turn. That's it. But only if it's safe to do so, yeah. That's it. Good. these signs you're telling you? Pedestrians. That's it, there's a crossing there, yeah. And see, because the view's not the best, it's because of that wall and the, the bushes as well, so look out. Turn right, please. Good. Signal again, please. See, otherwise that car could think we're going straight on, yeah. Well, even if you were, he wasn't going to wait anyway. <laughs> You could follow the road to the left, please, Taz. Day after today. Yeah. I'm back at work for five days. Has he been busy since uh, yeah. the reopening? Is he still only deliveries only? Is it? Or, I mean, takeaways? No, we're drive doing drive-throughs open and people are allowed to come in now as well. Okay. Mm. So it's even more busier. Straight ahead, second exit at this roundabout. So remember how to approach it, okay? Excellent, good. Hold 
then signal the cars there yeah good judgment no hesitation either yeah that was good this roundabout if you could uh, continue straight ahead first exit Straight ahead, second exit. How do you feel uh, the roundabouts are gone? The hesitation on them? I think they've gone okay. You feel a bit better on them? Yeah, I think it's probably because they weren't that busy. I do alright, but... They were like... The good thing was that uh, all the roundabouts have been... There were vehicles there, yeah. but they weren't like coming towards us and you, you assessed that and judged it. Yeah, normally you, you just see a car and stop, I don't you sometimes? I think they were better than what they were before. If you could get into the right hand lane for me, please. right at the traffic lights please mm -hmm. see that's better see how you're controlling the pedals there yeah that's how you should have done that those traffic lights at that crossroad when we stalled Because the lights are changed, yeah, you can select neutral and just fresh your feet. That's it. Because what's going to happen, you know, this light that's going straight ahead, mm -hmm. yeah, that's going to change to red, uh -huh. and then the traffic on the side, that's going to start, and then it's going to be your turn after that. Okay. Because you're the first car, we do want to get prepared though before the lights change. change yeah. So the traffic on the side has started moving now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what should you do? Yeah, That's it. And if a green arrow filter arrow comes on, pointing to the direction that you want to go, do you have to wait for anyone? No. Yeah. Still look out there for anyone jumping the lights, any emergency vehicles.
you do think you need now? That's it, where should the clutch be? Good. Well done. So it's fine getting gear 200 approach here, but when you saw that car and you knew you were going to be able to turn straight away, yeah. Get that gear a bit sooner so you're prepared, yeah. See, did we fully stop there? Yeah. Did we? Not like for ages, but like for a second. Yeah, maybe. but we did we need like the brake or anything? No. No, we used that clutch control, didn't we? Because we only stopped for like a second or two. Mm -hmm. And the key to um, these uphill starts, yeah, is being ready on approach, yeah. Taz, if you could turn right, please. You're lucky there, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have to stop. <laughs> I mean, you look, you probably thought, oh, bonus. <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> At the end of the road, turn right, please. So, what's the risk ahead? Um, park traffic on that side. That's it. There's someone in that as well, yeah. Look at the indicators. What's he doing at the moment? Stationary. Yeah, and he's indicating left, yeah. You could soon change it as well. Keep an eye out uh, eye on that, please. Could he open his door? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, so you did that one well, yeah, the, the uphill junction. But I prefer it when, when we have to stop on that, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to take you to a more steeper and difficult one now, yeah. Okay. And if you could turn right, please. Really good test. Are you positioned back to a good good position so the car can get past as well? And selecting the correct gear. At the end of the road, if you could turn left, please. right for me. So you know those lights, yeah, because you have to move off quickly, yeah, because the lights have changed. Mm -hmm. That might have made a difference to you stalling, yeah, it's a bit of pressure, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to create that scenario here now. So if you park up on the left, please, by the lamppost. That's fine, just stop here and get gear one, please. Don't put the handbrake up. So, if you could move off quickly for me, please. Don't forget your checks. That's it. Good. So, you're just adding that bit of pressure saying move off quickly. Can't see your signal though. Park up again, please. Okay, that'll do. I can stop here. Stop. And if you could move off again quickly, please, guys. 
can be a blind spot as well. That's it. All done. See, that was good on the glitch. Yeah, and the gas. of this road Taz if you could turn right please yeah so this is a, a nice steep uphill junction with an obstructed uh, view Good. So you did stall there, yeah, initially, yeah, but that was a, the perfect reaction. Yeah, you didn't panic, you kept control of the car, absolutely fine. Okay. I was covering myself. <laughs> Still, obviously the confidence still not there with the yeah, but you but you can do it, yeah. yeah. Let's try another one. Like there's this one and there's another one. These are the steepest ones around here. Okay. Yeah. And if you can do do those like that, you, sh you shouldn't have a problem. speed for the for the gap there yeah Don't get any close in there. You safe? Yeah. Why yeah. do you think I should not to get any closer? Because it's like a van and it's harder to see around it. That's it. Your view would have got more restricted, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the closer you get, the worse the view gets, yeah. That's it. Traffic lights, turn left please. You got planned for the rest of the day? Um, we're going to go to the park. I'm just chill with mum on that. No, oh, last day family? off work, huh? Going to be family in that? Yeah, last day off work. 
don't you hate the feeling thinking, oh, I've got to work all week, I can't do anything, I have to work up tomorrow. You probably can't relate. Actually, probably I actually enjoy working. Well, yeah. If that I had might, a better that, job. That might, that might sound a bit sad, but... <laughs> left at these lights does. So Taz, if you have a look in this mirror, yeah, what do you think of about a gap from the curb? Too close. Yeah, it's like a parking position, isn't it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you keep this kind of position when turning, what could happen? Could hit the curb. That's it. That's better. See, that's your normal position, yeah, that's what you should keep for the left turn. Try and keep your your thumb still on the steering wheel, yeah, so you still got a kind of grip to you. Just use your fingers, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit like <laughs> I'm normally used to you doing it. You're getting more advanced now, so you're allowed to thank people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. So I'm gonna build up a bit of pressure here now. There's a vehicle behind us, we're gonna do a really steep up junction, yeah. Let's say, just imagine if you if you say you you're on your test. This is your last challenge. If you do this well, you passed. Let's see. <laughs> a lot of impression on this. Right, sorry, retaining right. Oh damn it! That's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> well then, you did it. So are you feeling a hole still rate yourself five or six or? Um, I'd say a bit higher like, but I'm, I'm only going to say that because it's been empty. Because <laughs> it's because there have been no cars. Like I feel like I know how to do them, it's just... Turn right. But even when you stalled that was a really yeah. good reaction, yeah. Okay, you know what to do. It's just the idea of hills now, I'm just like... Oh, still not obviously 10 out of 10 on them, yeah, yeah like, confidence wise. But as long as we've improved a little, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. And if you could just park up on the left here, please, Taz. That's fine. Okay. Good. So, um, if you could uh, switch off the engine for me. Okay. So, let me give you a little tip here for, you know, when you're um, parking up. And you're going to leave your vehicle parked, yeah. Mm -hmm. And say you, say you lived there, and you're just going to um, leave your vehicle parked for extra extra security, yeah. When you're like this facing downwards, yeah. yeah. Okay. Say if your handbrake was faulty now, yeah, and it didn't work or stop working, yeah. The car would. What would happen to the car? Roll forward. Yeah, roll forward. So when you're like this, if you put into reverse gear for me, that's it. And now, if you put the handbrake down, see what happens. It's not gonna go. It's not gonna go. That's that extra Mad. prediction. Yeah. Okay, and if you're up here like that, you're able to give what you leave her in? One. That's it. Yeah. No way. But then when you get back in the car, make sure you check it's in neutral. Okay. Or you, I mean, you put it into neutral before starting. Yeah. Before moving off. Okay. okay. So you get that, yeah? Yeah. All right, so you see some people leaving like that, especially on hills. Mm -hmm. Just gives that extra security as well, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's always a good thing to, you know, when you park by the curb. When you uh, finish up, just steer slightly to the left, okay. so your front wheels are facing to the left. Again, if the ha if the handbrake does get damaged and your car starts rolling, at least the wa the wheels will Can go towards the curb and that will prevent it from going down there. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. just stuff like that. Okay. How do you think the lesson went? I think it was okay. Yeah. I think it was a good lesson. Yeah. So we recapped on um, the moving off and stopping. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not the moving off and stopping. Yeah, I did that earlier <laughs> with someone. Um, we recapped on the manoeuvres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The roundabouts, hesitation, 
feeling a little bit better on that yeah yeah you said and on the hills still not fully confident but you know what to do yeah yeah you know what to do uh, the maneuvers the forward bay park and the reverse bay park how do you think that went um it's just like the little things like no men straight enough but if i come and use another i think i'll be okay yeah obviously we'll go through this again yeah yeah okay but um do you think um be okay to just wait for a test date and then do a couple of lessons and go for your test mm -hmm. yeah i think so as well i don't think we need much more yeah, yeah. i think we should do one more mock test one more general lesson probably in your maneuvers and recapping yeah. on show me tell me questions and emergency stuff and that yeah i think that mm -hmm. should do it really yeah um yeah good so any questions um i don't know no so hopefully your test date comes soon just let me know keep an eye out on your email yeah as soon as it comes then we'll obviously we'll let everyone know yeah yeah adds a bit of pressure <laughs> and then um but like i said you stand up driving you know, good. So even if you fail, we'll still like. Obviously, we're gonna still upload the video. Yeah, we'll let everyone know why you failed if you, if it does come to that. Yeah, because look, your standard of driving is is good now. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I've had learners who've been driving with really good standards. Still, something happens on test. Yeah, okay. If well, then we just go for it again. Okay, but we will like we've been transparent with everything, and we're gonna be transparent with that as well. Yeah, yeah. because like I said, people uh, obviously, hopefully, you pass. But a lot of people do fail over the silly mistake and that and it does happen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we know for mine I think you're a safe enough driver now. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just wait for those um wait for the uh, email from the DVSA and then we'll uh, continue again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, thanks a lot, Taz again. And guys, like always, don't forget to like to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.